Shabbat Shalom, everyone. This is Sammy Spider's first Shabbat. Early Friday morning, Sammy Spider looked out the Shapiro's kitchen window. Josh was turning on the garden hose and suddenly a spray of water hit the window and Sammy jumped back, snapping a strand of his web. Mother, he called as he began to fall. Mrs. Spider caught Sammy mid-air. What's Josh doing? Sammy asked, catching his breath. He's watering the flower beds, she explained. Tonight, when the family gathers for Shabbat dinner, Mrs. Shapiro will put fresh flowers on the table. Will we celebrate Shabbat too? Sammy asked. <laughs> Silly little Sammy, answered Mrs. Spider. Spiders don't celebrate Shabbat. Spiders spin webs. And you need to fix the new hole in ours. I'll fix it later, said Sammy. He was busy watching Mr. Shapiro unpack a bag of full of groceries for Shabbat dinner. Sammy looked down at all the food. I wish I could celebrate Shabbat, he thought. But when he saw his torn web reflected in the bottle, the wine bottle, he remembered his mother's words. Spiders don't celebrate Shabbat. Spiders spin webs. I'll fix it later, thought Sammy, following Josh into the dining room. Josh put the bottle of wine on the table. He took out the kiddush cups and the candlesticks, and he put them next to the wine, and he put the candles into the candlesticks. The tablecloth reminded Sammy of a huge spider web, and he remembered the hole in his web. I'll fix it later, he thought. Instead, he wandered it back into the kitchen. Josh had finished lunch and he was helping Mrs. Shapiro make some challah. She kneaded the dough and divided it into three parts. Josh rolled each strip and placed them side by side. Mrs. Shapiro took one strip and crossed it over the middle strip. Then she took another strip and she crossed it back over the other way. Left over the middle, then right over the middle, she said. She did this again and again until the bread was braided. Sammy watched carefully, then right over the, left over the middle, then right over the middle, he repeated, practicing on the strands of his web. The effort made him tired, and he dozed off for a little nap. While Sammy slept, Josh went up to his bedroom. It was time to clean up all of his toys. Sammy woke up to the sound of music. The sun was setting. The Shapiros were gathered around the dinner table. They were singing Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. I wish I could celebrate Shabbat, Sammy thought as he watched Mrs. Shapiro light the candles and recite the blessing. Everyone sang the blessings over the wine and over the challah. Mrs. Spider crawled over to Sammy and gave him a hug. My goodness, you fixed our web, she exclaimed. To his surprise, Sammy saw that the web had been neatly braided, just like a Shabbat challah. Can you see right there it's all braided? The next morning, Sammy watched Josh get dressed for synagogue. He chose his favorite sweater and kippah. When the Shapiros left for Shabbat services, Sammy climbed up his web and he noticed a tiny new hole. I wish I could celebrate Shabbat, he told his mother, but I guess I need to fix our web again. I remember how. Left over the middle, right over the middle, he said. I guess I'll go do it now. Oh no, smiled Mrs. Spider. Shabbat is the day of rest. You can fix it later. And that's the end of Sammy Spider's first Shabbat.
Shabbat Shalom, everyone.